Now let's talk weather. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about Sally, but Scott Patchett, it is Monday. We'll be a little bit selfish, at least for the next day or so for us for the moment. How are things looking? Feels pretty good outside tonight. It felt not too bad for us as we went through the day today. The humidity will come up the next couple of days, Doug. And as you take a look at the Fort Worth time lapse, we saw a great sunset develop. Not a whole lot of cloud cover in the sky tonight. Our temperatures after we topped out at 88 degrees are continuing to cool down. We were very close to average for this time of the year. We're now 10 degrees colder than where we were at the uh, heat of the day, 78, our current temperature with our winds out of the north, northeast at 10, knows the dew point in the upper 60s, so a bit muggy, and you'll notice that mugginess into tomorrow morning and, and through tomorrow afternoon. Temperatures uh, by tomorrow morning, upper 60s to the low 70s on the way, so a little bit of a warm up in the forecast. And what's also increasing are the ragweed and elm pollens in the air. Let's take a look at this medium to high category tomorrow and in the high category on Wednesday, so we could use some rain. To wash out the atmosphere, not really happening for tomorrow. Small little rain chances at 10%. We'll make it into the mid 80s, around 85 to maybe 86 degrees. But look how the rain chances do increase Wednesday and especially on Thursday. Couple of things going on for us. We have that moisture in place, and we're not going to see a whole lot of rain from Sally, pretty much not at all. As you take a look through Tuesday into Wednesday, that cloud cover making its way east to west. So that's that indirect impact from Hurricane Sally. Maybe some spotty showers rotating their way northeast to the southwest through Wednesday. But then on Thursday, a better chance of some rain as a cool front gets closer towards north Texas. But still tracking the tropics, five named systems right now. The one that is affecting the U.S. coastline, again, is Hurricane Sally. There are tropical advisories in effect. You can't see the blue area, tropical storm warnings, but hurricane warnings remaining in effect from near Pensacola all the way over through New Orleans. Latest information, Sally's just inching along at three miles per hour with wind sustained at 100, making its way to the west-northwest. will turn northerly going through tomorrow afternoon into the evening hours and then possibly working on shore very close to Dolphin Island, possibly near Biloxi, near Gulf Shores, west of Gulf Shores, and make its way to the north-northeast and then just drop some flooding rain through parts of Georgia. Georgia. So speaking of rain, it will continue to pile up in some spots as much as a foot of rain or more. We're not really going to be seeing that. We do have a cool front arriving going into Thursday into Friday. So with that close enough by in the tropical moisture place, rain chances 50% on Thursday. Then into the weekend, we have dry air in place, lots of sunshine, morning temperatures in the low 60s.